Heyo everyone, I am the Loki Monster and welcome back to part 2 of the quest for the Dragon Seeker Bow. As you see, I have mine and believe it or not, we're almost done. So, let's pick up where we left off and I'll just ask you quickly, if you like my videos, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. So, we're going to collect our last of the five bows after five different one hour craftings and hand that in so next we have a quest that we need to help train Arjun again because he still needs a little help so when we accept this quest we'll look at the menu and now we see another crystal with the train Arjun so you want to click on that and then enter this dungeon with Arjun so you just want to kill the dragons here and the big guy he's not so tough you should be able to handle him no problem now in the spirit of the quest of Arjun and the Rangers I used Ranger class now honestly I would not recommend using Ranger class at all for this I prefer Berserker or Warrior um, anything with an AOE for the smaller dragons um, is good or of course, you can use the Dragon Sayer Cross Skill of Rend, which works really great on dragons. But honestly, you probably don't want to use Ranger for this. Now, that's all you had to do was those two levels and then return and hand that in. So for the next quest, we're going to have to talk to a few of the Dragon Slayers, five of them in total. We're going to need our five Striker Bows, which we have, 20 bundles of arrows, which we have, and this is where I discovered you needed five Striker Talbirds. So, if you watch my other video, you already knew that you had to craft these and hopefully you had time to do so between the one hour crafting of the bows. So now we're just going to talk to these five Dragon Slayer guys here to complete that part of the quest. Now, as you noticed, I didn't know about this until I got to that point. So I actually had to go and craft those. So I went back to Sienna and I finished crafting them. But it was at this point that I discovered that Sienna had a new quest. At the top here, she has helping a recruit. Now for this quest, you will receive five Sienna bonds and five dragons blood, as well as the title, a helping hand. And it is repeatable, so you can do it at least twice or three times if you crafted one for yourself like I did. <laughs> now I'm going to head back to Mount Ashfall, and then I can hand all of this in. And now we have the biggest challenge of them all. We're going to have to fight Alcaroth with, with Arjun and the five recruits. Now to do that, you'll see a new crystal, Face the Challenge. So we just click on that and we're off to fight Alcaroth. Now I switched to pirate class for this. I should have added my rend. I wasn't thinking when I entered. Now it's easy enough to just watch the ground. I always zoom way out so I can see exactly where his attacks are coming from. And first you're going to have to beat the regular Alcaroth, but he was only about 18k for hit points. And then we're going to have to beat Alcaroth Exposed. Now it's a little bit stronger at 22,000 hit points. Now with this fire, you want to make sure that you try to avoid that, but you don't lose if you die as long as some of the Dragon Slayers are still alive. But as you see, they all died on me. They got hit by the fire. Their dialogue was quite humorous for it, but you don't want to die at that point because he will reset. So we just have to turn that in and we will receive a Dragon Striker title. And also, we will get the quest, the final quest, to craft the Dragon Heart Seeker Bow. Now, for this, you will need 200 Dragon Slayer class tokens, 200 Ranger class tokens, and 3 Dragon Trophies. Which is definitely the hard part of that quest. Now, I have those trophies, so let's check out the title. To do that, I want to click on my character, and then a little 
pen in the corner and I'm just going to jump down to the questing section and in this section you will find the helpy helper there I just scroll past and the dragon striker title so I'm just gonna click on that and hit apply so a quick trip to the bank and I have my dragon trophies and I'm just going to hit the accept and then hand that in and I've earned my bow. Now, you will find that this quest is actually repeatable if you want to. I don't know what you're going to do with a lot of extra bows, but it is a little bit of XP. So let's check out what all this hard work was for. This is the Dragon Heart Seeker bow. Pretty cool. Now, um, for those of you who have never been to Ashfall and need some help with the Dragon Slayer quest and with Alcaroth, I will continue this video. Everybody else, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. So, for the Dragon Slayer, we're going to head to the Dragon Slayer tent, and we're going to talk to Galanoth. Now, here you want to look under Dragon Slayer Training, and then you want to click on Dragon Slayer Training again. Now, the quest is to get five roasted meats, five lava globs, five flans, and to defeat Valak once. Now, for the chickens, the drickens, we're just going to go outside the tent and we're going to kill them here. And you're going to pick up the roasted dricken meat, the burnt meat you can also craft stuff with. So you want to pick them up as well. And then we're going to travel to, to the lower fire fields where we're going to get our five uh, lava globs. Now, I'm only using auto fire, so I'm not one-shotting them on uh, lower level players. And then I'm going to head up to the upper fire fields and then I'm just going to kill uh, the three flans that are down here. I'm going to continue up to the here and I'm going to get two more here. Now there are like all five here, but it just depends on how many people are around where you decide to kill yours. And I'm just going to run down to the edge and then jump off to kill Valak down here. Sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice here. Return to the Dragon Slayer tent. And then we're just going to hand that in. And we'll receive 145 class tokens. Now there is no guardian bonus for Dragon Slayers. Now I've jumped back to Mount Ashfall to talk to Sienna. And under trophy hunting, we are going to find a quest here for trophy hunting, which is a daily quest for trophy hunting one is for regular which is a five man dungeon and one is for the extreme which is a 20 man dungeon so you can earn two trophies a day so we're just going to run up to the big door here and then we will find we have the two quests down at the bottom i'm going to do the group challenge that is the five man and i'm going to go public of course because i'm going to need some help because he is a hundred and thirty two thousand HP yes this fight is quite extensive in just like in the other fights you want to pay attention to the floor now in the extreme version there is no warning on the floor and um, all I can say is uh, good luck guys this takes a lot of practice and skill not to die a lot and the fight does take over 10 minutes and if you're lucky you'll get a drop and once you finish that you can just hand that in and if you dare and can gather enough people together you can try to do the extreme challenge now it is possible to do it with about five to seven people who know what they're doing I want to thank you all for joining me, and I need to go to bed. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.